Hey guys, this is Nia. Welcome back to my channel. It's nearing Easter, so for this week's video, I decided to paint eggs. And since eggs are quite light in color and wouldn't require many layers, I decided to doodle on this tiny sketchbook. I'm pretty sure those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a while knows about this streaky sketchbook, which can't handle too many layers, and that I haven't touched the sketchbook for a while. It actually turned out quite well. I like the texture that the paper gives because I'm not overworking it with layers for this subject. So hopefully I'll find other ideas of what to paint here because I really like the size of the sketchbook and I don't exactly want to waste it. Anyway, getting back to the topic, I've never painted eggs before, at least not with the shell. I usually just paint cooked eggs in food illustrations. At first, I was a little confused about the color mixing, so before I started, I first googled some pictures of eggs to see the different colors of shells, and I also scrolled through some egg paintings. It gave me some ideas, but I was still unsure about mixing so many neutral tones of grays, browns, and those nice duck egg teal green colors, I wasn't too sure of um, how to go about it. So when something like this happened, I tried to limit the colors on my palette by choosing the colors that I think is the closest to what I have in mind. And for this, I chose ivory black, sepia, burnt sienna, yellow ochre, John brilliant, cobalt green, and white. I know that the colors aren't showing too well on the camera, but those are the list of colors and I tried to show you as much of my color mixing for this doodle as much as possible. For the eggs, I just do a simple egg shape, I guess, which is like an oval and is usually smaller at the top and a bit rounder at the bottom. And since this is just a simple doodle, I just painted it straight with my brush. I just basically change tiny bits of the shape, size, and I tilt the shape slightly for each egg. But as I was painting it, I thought this would also be nice if it was painted in rows too, like a display, because of the harmonious neutral colors. And this would also be a good option if you're painting these yourselves, because that way you also don't have to think about composition and the balance of the page. Even though this is not exactly a tutorial, but I know a lot of you like to paint along, so I'll just name you the list of colors that I mix for the base colors. So if you're interested in painting these yourselves, you can try to use these mixtures. I will list them from the order I've painted the eggs and will also add on to it as the painting progresses. When I first started, I mixed in Jean Brilliant with some yellow ochre for the first egg, which is the top left one and for the second which is the one next to it i mixed in sepia ivory black and white then for the third egg i added the cobalt green into what's left of the mix from the second egg so if you're left with a lot of that mixture just take a tiny bit and mix it with the cobalt green to neutralize the tone for the fourth egg which is the one at the top right I added John Brilliant, which is like a flesh tone into the mix for the third egg. So hopefully by now you understand how I mix my colors. I don't always mix one by one, but a lot of times I just add on a certain color to what I already have on my palette. This way you're also keeping a similar neutral tone because you're using the limited palette. So the painting goes well together and is cohesive with the rest of the eggs. As I paint the base colors while the paper is still slightly damp, I also added some spots. For all of the spots, I either used a mixture of sepia and burnt sienna, or just sepia if you want something a bit darker, but I would recommend to start off with a thinner consistency or else the dark tone of the spots will pop out too much and it doesn't look like it's part of the egg. As the first layer is drying, I usually just paint the other eggs to save time so I'm always multitasking when I paint. Also as a tip for the spots, try to place them in curved lines 
so the egg doesn't look too flat and vary the spots you can have larger ones or smaller ones sometimes I also do fine lines I also change to a smaller brush sometimes because it's easier to control if you want to get to those really fine lines or tiny dots so getting back to the colors for the fifth egg I mixed the previous egg mixture which is the neutralized cobalt green with the color that I used for the spots and this creates a really nice neutral gray color I'm sorry if this is getting a bit confusing but that's why for my tutorials I usually plan things ahead or else it gets a bit confusing about the color mixing if I'm painting straight without thinking of steps for other people to follow when you're doing the spots I'm not sure if you caught it earlier before but when I want to lighten the color of the spot slightly and if the color of my palette is a bit too dark, like what I had before was the really rich dark sepia color, sometimes instead of getting fresh color off the pan, I just add a certain color mixture that I already have on my palette and that I find would lighten the color. So for instance, I added the Jean Brilliant mix with the yellow ochre from the first egg into the dark sepia color to lighten the spots a bit. For the sixth egg, I mixed the previous egg color with the mix of the first egg which has the Jean Brilliant and the yellow ochre so the ratio of the neutral flesh tone is a bit more distinct for this one and while I wait for the one that I just painted to dry, I went along and painted a bit more details for the spots for the other eggs which are a bit more dry and workable. To fill in the space I'm going to paint a couple more small eggs at the bottom using the same color mixing method but those six are basically the main colors so if you're thinking of painting this yourself a tip is just to start with a limited color palette and mix and match those colors try mixing different ratios and see what that does by using such limited colors, you can create a great variety of different colors which would look great together as they have the same tones. So it's also a good chance for you to experiment. After I finished painting the eggs, I decided to paint some leaves and flowers just for the spring vibe. For the leaves, I used sap green and orillon yellow, and for the flowers, I used a mixture of Jean Brilliant and Quinn Opera. But as I was painting the leaves, I found that the colors pop out too much and is a bit too vibrant compared to the neutral tones of the eggs. And I found that it was taking away from the eggs that the leaves were the focal point so I decided after the first layer that I would have to add elements of the egg colors to neutralize the leaves and the flowers also and in the end I think everything looks more cohesive. For the leaves I added 
colors that I used for the spots, which is a mix of burnt sienna and sepia. So I ended up glazing the leaves with more mute tones so it doesn't stand out too much. As for the flowers, I added the mix of the cobalt green eggs, which is a neutralized version of the color mixed with either gem brilliant and yellow ochre or some brown tones. This is my preference though if you prefer brighter spring colors and you like the fact that the colors of the flowers pop out more, then you don't have to add the neutral tones into the color. If you decide to paint along to this or doodle this yourself, you can also use um, a previous tutorial that I made of the mini flowers and try to incorporate all the different mini flowers that you want to paint into this egg painting. I think that would also be really cool. I think that's all I have to say for now. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the painting and I'll get back to you towards the end. After I'm done with adding the leaves and the flowers, I still found that the page was still looking a bit too empty so I added some twigs here and there to match the eggs and yeah so that's it for the painting. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and learned something new from watching my process of doodling and hopefully the little tips about color mixing helps out a bit. Again this is not a tutorial, I just felt like doing some doodles because I haven't done that for a while. And yeah, thank you so much for watching till the end. I hope you guys have a good Easter break. Happy Easter to those of you who celebrate and I'll see you at the next video. Bye!